can, really. Whoa! Hello? 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 Big had caller ID. Shit. What? Get a cell phone! I don't know how to work this. Carrie Bradshaw's web page is a mess. He's online! Can he see me? Who's John at JJPNY.com? Oh, shit. Delete. And isn't there some cyberspace place that you can send those so that I never have to see an email from him ever again? And because Big still didn't have the words, he retyped a love letter from Beethoven and Lord Byron and John Keats, and Voltaire. When was the last time you backed up your work? Um, I don't do that. You don't back up? When was the last time you backed up? No one talks about backing up. I'm going to Paris. Good for you! What about your job? I quit. What? When did you stop? I think you're making a mistake. You know, I think I should go home. What are you gonna do over there without your job? I cannot stay in New York and be single for you. What? I can go with him and live my life. You mean his life? Just say it, you don't like him. I don't like him! How's it going? It's harder than I thought. I don't speak the language and it's too cold and rainy to walk around all day. I'm just lost. Who are you sleeping with? It's big. What? You're sleeping with big? Just, it kind of feels okay. Well, that's gonna work. Even I am not that naive. Carrie. Carrie. My friends were right. What, what did you do this weekend? Monkey bar. With whom? Big. So you and Big are really friends or something? Yeah. Don't you think you should define what you're doing with him? We're finally just enjoying each other. It's good. Without boundaries, you never know what's gonna happen. Can we lighten up on the boundary talk? Jeez. I'm, I'm meeting Aiden for dinner. I think you're playing with fire. Just because you're worried about your marriage, everyone's gonna cheat. I kissed Aiden. I wanna call Big and tell him. It was just a kiss. Say nothing. Something happened. I ran into Aiden. We kissed. I have to go. Can, can we afford this? I got it. So he bought it and you'll live there with him. Oh, that's right. But he'll own it. You're keeping your oh, own place, right? I haven't figured out the details yet, but I'm a smart girl. I'm sure I'll figure out something that I'm very comfortable with. He's not coming. No, oh, I have nowhere to live. My clothes, I can never go back there again. How am I going to get my clothes? I have nothing to wear but a wedding gown. But I'm a smart girl. I'm sure I'll figure out something. Aiden's evicting her? This is more than fair. He's asking you to buy your apartment for the exact price he paid, or you can vacate and he'll sell it. Vacate? But I'm a smart girl. I'm sure I'll figure out something. Where did all my money go? How many of these do you have? 100 times 400. There's your damn payment. Well, that's only 4,000. 40,000. I spent $40,000 on shoes and I have no place to live? But I'm a smart girl. I'm sure I'll figure out something. With someone who can live on the water? Just don't love it. You have to love where you live. I signed the papers. My mistake was thinking that I had to fall in love with a new apartment right away. I am dating my new apartment and tonight is our first sleepover. I hate the new apartment. But I'm a smart girl. I'm sure I'll figure out something. Oh my God. When was the last time you backed up your work? What if everything I've ever written is gone? Oh, oh shit, shit, shit. <gasps> Big's wedding ring, his wedding ring just went down the drain. What a smart girl. didn't work for Big. All that marriage did was convince him he hated committing. You broke up with him. Oh, so I'm the one with the commitment problem? Well, I'm just saying. Until the talented Bradshaw is better able to grasp the complexities of married life, she would be better advised to explore the vow of silence.
All in all, I enjoyed spending time in Ms. Bradshaw's sharp, funny, finely drawn world where single women rule and the men are disposable. The men are disposable? I don't dispose of men, do I? I know it's not your style, but it's right there. So you try it on anyway. I was uh, trying you on, you know, see if it fit. It doesn't. I don't dispose of men, do I? That was the last night I saw Sean. Are men in their 20s the new designer drug? Samantha, Miranda, and I were all recreational users. My turn. I have to go back to work, but I'll give you a call. Maybe we can do it again sometime. Hey, good morning, Chris. It's... You used me for sex! Aiden, I slept with my ex-boyfriend. Once? More than once. I don't dispose of men, do I? Yes, you do. No, I <laughs> Yes, don't. you do. I may not be the marrying kind. You're not the marrying kind. Threesomes? Ever done one? Sure. With who? My ex-wife. You were married? Uh, yeah, I yeah. were engaged. How can you be engaged? You told me you never wanted to get married again, ever. You just didn't want to marry me. I don't think that I'm ready to get married yet. End of the year? Which year? I'm not kidding. Get it off. I can't breathe. Let's get married tonight. Uh -huh. I need more time. I'm not ready for marriage. Why can't we just, just live together? The next day, Aiden moved out. Bruh, 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 bruh. Apparently you were right, I am not the marrying kind. I went out with Aiden right after you. <laughs> Do you think Nina Katz is telling random celebrity hosts that I'm the bad breakup girlfriend? How does Aiden feel about me? Does he hate me? No, but come on, Carrie. I mean, it was pretty bad. How bad, Steve? He couldn't get out of bed for like, like a month. A month? I can't do this. You slept the whole day. She was smart, beautiful, and she got me. Carrie, I'd like you to meet Misha. Oh. Hey there, stranger. A huge liability walked by. Hey! Mrs. Big, all five foot ten of her. Uh, this is Carmen <laughs> Garcia Carrion. 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 Very good. You were saying? Excuse me, you can't smoke that in here. You're absolutely positively sure about that? I checked the zoning on this particular table. I'm Alegre Planche, and thank you for joining me for this 45-minute power ride. 45-minute power ride. I've been smoking cigars for years. Smoking cigars for years. I've got this great source that sends me Hondurans. You want to try one? No, thank you. And I have a key to the private room downstairs. You want a private tour? No, thanks. <laughs> he lost his ability to open up and trust women. The girl Nina he was dating, she told me that. I want to find her and tell her my side of the breakup story. Nina. Nina. I need to talk to you for a second. There's a person in New York who could hate me that much. I need to talk to you. I never, never meant for any of this to happen. I could take it all away, I would. But I can't. Deeply sorry for what I did to you. It was wrong. But I'm sorry. Wait. Burn in hell, you narrow-minded, tacky-ass bitch. I guess that's just what I have to say.
The sixth stage of grief is stalking. The best way for me to just move past this is to look Natasha in the eye and have a grown-up conversation. So I emailed her. I emailed her at 140 today and nothing. What kind of person doesn't respond to a grieving wife? I just found her on Instagram. I'm gonna DM her in case she didn't get my email. She just blocked me. I'm here to see Natasha Mills, Carrie Bradshaw, Preston. I will try her. You can just have a seat. Miss Bradshaw? Preston. I'm Amber, Natasha's assistant. She's in Rome. Have a nice day. Someone's in here. Oh my God. Where are you gonna hunt me down next, Carrie? This isn't even your neighborhood. Yes, I also know where you live. What the fuck do you want from me? A mysterious place. I'm not going to get sold into white slavery, am I? You wear gold jewelry? Ghetto gold for fun. Ghetto gold for fun. Well, I could get into the head wrap, but the veil across the mouth, it freaks me out. How is she going to do that? A lift for every fry. And you're missing the woman with the veil eating french fries at the next table. I'd like to kiss you. Would that be okay? He asked permission for the kiss. No surprise. Contract for a kiss. Not how I remember it. His word said no, but his kiss said yes. His word said no, but his kiss said yes. That's the defense invoked by date rapists. showing me today with your attitude and price limitations you should consider we hawking we hawking we're not gonna have dinner tonight are we but i came here because i didn't want to text you i have started an excel spreadsheet so that we can all take turns helping out with carrie's recovery post-surgery i have to pee i'll call the nurse i can't wait well is there a bedpan how oh, dare you just just lift me what? Why'd you call yourself Rambo? Can we please just get me down? Go, so I can go. You have to stay to help me back up. Shall I help you up? Yeah. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're Big and I are thinking about taking two days a week apart to do our own thing. Everything okay? It's just something we're talking about. If you make marriage sound like a job, what is it really about? Big and I are just trying to make our own rules. Doesn't it hurt your feelings that he would want time off? You just don't get it. They only see each other once every three months when they can afford it. And I asked him if that was hard for them, and he said, time doesn't matter. Each time they see each other, it's wonderful. So see, there are all kinds of marriages. and Big wants two days off. I thought you both wanted... Charlotte. Oh, shit. Big's records. I think you're gonna have to just tell me what's in them. I think you're gonna have to just tell me what's in them. I think you're gonna have to just tell me what's in them. Could I talk to you about something that's been on my mind? I think so. It's about Miranda and her drinking. I found three tiny Tito's bottles in her backpack, empty. Before the show, I noticed she had two glasses of wine. Okay, could you stop noticing things? A date with sex writer Carrie Bradshaw. Lunch date. And sex writer? What, like I write porn? And sex writer? I write about sex. It's a lunch date. She writes about relationships and the nuances that go okay, with them. Okay, please stop, please, please stop. 
As Samantha went on about her sexual escapades, I glanced down at my arm. 20-something Sam's phone number. I had this sudden urge to call. The truth is, I really want it to be special the first time. I'm sure it will be special. Is Ray there? Oh, I'm listening. Charlotte, Miranda and I spoke, and she's not coming to Paris. I guess it's just us two girls. Oh, well, thanks, but I think I can do the rest on my own. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. They offered me the money for my down payment. But I could never take it. Why didn't you offer me the money? In an effort to save money and maybe even pick up a few extra bucks, I invited the girls over for poker. Hope you're ready for some heavy lifting today, Lily. I am no longer paying for lunch. He's here. The teacher I went on a date with last night. Stand in front of me. Can you follow him out? Come back and tell me when you're sure he's gone. You want me to off him too? My husband died. Charlotte's on her way up. Stanford, you have to go and hide. Excuse me? If she sees you two, she'll think I didn't call her. Why would she think that? Because I didn't call her. Stanny, can you please go hide? Can you tell me how much the bus is? A dollar fifty. You know, for three more bucks, you can take a cab. These steps are very dangerous. <laughs> because you don't know what you're doing, just stop. Can you please not? Did that? Me, me. I was, you know, I was just typing. He came over and he kissed me, kissed me. I got the bomb. Not the good kind. You are mortifying me. No more rent girl for you. <laughs> what time is it in New York now? Yeah. Sweetie, you gotta stop. Consider this an interfrenchian. You have to stop obsessing. I don't think that I obsess. Oh my god, big? You're obsessed with talking about big, and frankly, we can't take it anymore. What is this, an intervention? Okay, go. Go. No, I mean, I think you can go. And can take Steve with you? Oh, sweetie, I gotta go. I'm late for a meeting with my editor. I didn't want to tell her I canceled lunch with my editor to help 20-something Sam pick out a shirt. As I helped him try them on, I thought... Chase performing? Oh, yeah, you know what? Charlotte roped me into participating. Then I roped in Che, which actually wasn't that big. Oh, in that article, I did not say we once. You know what? I don't hear big anywhere in this article. Natasha's calling the shots, and he's just along for the ride. I said something to Big that I shouldn't have at the rehearsal dinner. I said that you two were crazy to get married. Yeah. You ruined my marriage. Excuse me. Girlfriend needs to move a comb through her hair. <laughs> <laughs> And just like that, Big died. Where's John? I never received word of his final resting place. Where is he now? He's on a shelf in my closet. <laughs> next to my very best shoes. Shoes. I decided to investigate this theory I had about shopping. You can't afford them? Too many pairs of Jimmy Choo shoes. Cute, huh? A couple of blocks and way too much money later. There! This dress I saw at Bergdorf's so that's gonna cost me a month's rent. Purchased another outfit I can't afford. Dolce, Dolce, Dolce. Hello, lover. 
there are never been worn four hundred dollar shoes. Five twenty-five. How much were they? Uh, four hundred and eighty-five. Good. Poor shit on my three hundred dollar goddamn shoes. It says here that you have seven hundred in your checking account. I just paid my credit card bill. I met my credit card limit. Bills, bills, bills. I have this little substance abuse problem. Expensive footwear. And now they want to talk to you. A honeymoon that's prepaid on my credit card because I wanted to surprise the man who jilted me. I think it is so great that you're redoing your entire apartment. I'm using my new book advance to pay the fancy decorator. 957 in savings. What, does no one else shoe shop? Linda, you're single, right? I just broke up with my fiance, which is traumatic enough. I have 25 days to either find the money to buy my place or I am out on the street. Do you have any other income besides the column? I was chosen as New York Magazine's best pick for city columnist. What about your assets outside the bank? Or probably bounce the check to a charity. You bounce the check to a charity. Property? I just charge tomatoes. I really don't think that I'm in a position to buy an apartment. Stocks, bonds? You are not a desirable candidate for a loan. 